gives you access to widgets. These widgets are called the Spry Framework for Ajax. Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. The Spry Framework for Ajax is a JavaScript library that you can use to add interactive features, such as collapsible and tabbed panels, drop-down menus, and form validation features. You can find Spry over in the Insert panel. To find it, you would just click on your drop-down arrow like usual, and it's right there in the list. And a note to CC users, Spry is a deprecated feature in CC. You'll have to go to Adobe GitHub to download Spry if it's available. The reason it's not included in CC is that the Spry framework is no longer being developed by Adobe. Now let's learn about creating drop-down menus. To create a drop-down menu using Spry, put the cursor on your page wherever you want to create the menu, and then go over to your Insert panel and click on Spry menu bar. You could also go up to Insert, Spry, and Spry menu bar. Then, in the dialog box, you'll select whether you want horizontal or vertical. Now you'll enter your text for the items. Click on the blue menu bar tab, and then go down to the Properties Inspector. Here is where you can change the text and the URL for each item. So you'd simply click on the text that you wanted to change, write in your new name, and then you would add your URL in the link field. Now if you wanted to add an item, you'd go here to the Properties Inspector and click on the plus sign at the top of the item field. You can see that adds another item in. To add a sub-item, first select the item that you want it to appear under. And then you would click the plus sign in the item box that's to the right of the selected item. And you can see it adds your sub-item. When you're finished, go to File, Save. And then Dreamweaver will show you the Copy Dependent Files dialog box. Click OK to generate the related fields. Another thing you can do with Spry is create collapsible panels. This is really easy to do with Spry. First, go to the document and again place the cursor where you want the panel to appear. Then you go back over to your Insert panel and select Spry Collapsible Panel. Now click and drag to select the word Tab, and then type in whatever new name you want. You would select the word Content also, and again, you would add whatever text or images that you want. Now click on the blue Spry Collapsible Panel tab, which is located at the top here. You can see it's now selected the whole panel with this blue line around it. Go to the Properties Inspector and under Display, select Closed. This means that your panel is closed by default when the web page loads. To make the panel open and close whenever someone clicks the tab, just check and make sure you have the Enable Animation checkbox selected. And then again, you would go to File, Save to save the page and the Copy Dependent Files dialog box opens once again. And you would click OK to generate related files in the Copy Dependent Files dialog box. Now if you wanted to insert a tabbed panel, again you would click the mouse in the document where you want the tabbed panel to appear, go to your Insert panel, and select Spry Tabbed Panels. If you wanted to replace the text for the tabs, just drag and select and type in your new text. Next, click on the blue Spry tabbed panels to open the Properties Inspector. If you wanted to add tabs, click the plus sign in the Properties Inspector. You can see it adds another tab for us up here. And if you wanted to change the order of the tabs, so see we have tab 3 in the middle, maybe I want that at the bottom, just select the tab that you want to move and use the arrows to move them. Now they're in the correct order. And you would specify the tab you want to display when the page is loaded under the default panel drop-down menu. So if I wanted it to display tab 2, I'd select that and that will be the default panel. To add your content, you would select the word content up here. And from there you could add your text and images and so forth. When you're finished, again you'd go to File, Save and then click OK to generate related files in the Copy Dependent Files dialog box. Now earlier in this course, we learned to create HTML forms. 
You can also use Spry validation widgets to create form elements with built-in validation features. For example, you can use a text field validation widget so you can verify someone has entered the right amount of digits for a phone number. This is helpful to make sure forms are filled out as correctly as possible. So to use a validation widget, first place the cursor where you want the widget to appear, and then go to Insert, Spry. And then it gives you your list of different validation options here. So you would select the one that you wanted to use, for example, if we wanted a checkbox. If you don't already have a form tag in your page, the Add Form Tag dialog box will appear. If you want to create the form tag as you create the box, just click Yes, and your checkbox appears. Now enter the validation requirements in the Property Inspector. If you want to require that users select a checkbox, select the Required field from the preview states in the Property Inspector. When you're finished, go to File, Save to save the page, and click OK to generate related files on the Copy Dependent Files tab.